honestly make great putters, but this putter has the potential to be perfect. So let me tell you the story of how we've got to this point. It all starts with this particular putter, the Odyssey 10. Now they brought this out after the fantastic success of the tailor-made spider. And there's no coincidence around that. Sean Toulon, the guy that designed the original spider all those years ago, used to work for tailor-made. He jumped ship over to Odyssey and bang, this came out. And when I reviewed it, I liked it. I possibly didn't like it as much as the spider, but it was a very good putter. Then, fast forward a little bit further, they brought out the next version. Same number 10 shape, that same similar spider shape, but now with triple track alignment. I tested that at the start of last year, and again, I said that putter was gonna be a game changer. The reason why I said that, because you married it up with the Chrome Soft Golf Ball, with the triple track technology, and again, that has the potential to help golfers around the world play better golf by aligning straighter. The reason why I maybe didn't like it as much, I'm just not the biggest fan of that particular golf ball. But then we've got to this, Odyssey 10, the new version for 2021. Now on this head cover is a blend of two of my favorite putters ever. You might have seen recently, I expressed my love for the original two ball putter. I fell in love with it when I was a junior, one of the best putters, one of the best selling putters ever. Well, under this, both worlds collide. We've got a number 10 shape, a new number 10 shape. These little gaps now have been filled in apparently for more stability, but on top, they've got the two balls. I mean, wow. I love this technology. The fact you can line these two golf balls up with your actual golf ball, and it almost works like a pendulum effect to help you hold more putts. And then they've even got this version out. This is one that I'm very, very fond of. One with the line already on. I remember one of the two balls I had many, many years ago. I actually tried to put a line on myself with a marker pen. It went disastrously wrong. And there's also a lot of different versions as well because it gets even more exciting, certainly for people who like the triple track ball, you can get the Odyssey number 10 with the two balls with triple track. And there's a few more options as well. I'll put them around the screen. It's like the new Stroke Lab shaft. I've mentioned it a couple of times before. It's hard for me to really tell a massive difference with Stroke Lab. I typically just like the balance and the feel of the putters. So as you can tell, I'm excited about testing this putter, certainly this one with the two ball and the line on. And you think so far, everything sounds great, right? But it's not all rosy. There's a big downside, the price. These putters are 300 pounds when they come out. 299 pounds for a putter, so it's quite pricey. Let's give it a roll and see if this could be my new putter. So for me, the reason why I'm more keen on trying the one with the line on, just simply alignment. I typically, when I put, I'll use the line on the golf ball. Sometimes I'll use a Sharpie and put a thicker line on it. So when I line up to my target, I know that I'm aiming straight. So for me, with that line on top, hopefully that should marry up. So. First put with this putter. I do like the shape. Like I say, it's so similar to the Spider. The 10 has been fairly successful. I think it's been pretty well received. I do like that two ball. I like its coloring. I like its weighting. That is one of the worst puts I've ever hit. And as much as I might like the look of the putter, with a stroke like that I just put on it, it's definitely not gonna work. That was horrendous, right? Let's go again. So, obviously it didn't hold any of them. Initial thoughts on the feel. Um, not super soft. There's a little bit of firmness in that face. It's got micro hinge insert as well. It's just a little, a little bit firmer than I'd like. Do a little bit more testing.
So to answer the first question, is this putter perfect? Well, it's got potential, but for me, there is no perfect putter. There's actually no perfect golf club. And that's what makes reviewing golf clubs so exciting because they might be one day a perfect club. It's a little bit firm on the face and it's a little bit pricey for this. So, so it's potentially not perfect. The next question is, is it a good putter? Well, it is actually. I love the weight of it. I really love the look of it. For me, the blend between two ball, spider, line is absolutely gorgeous. I also really like how shallow the face is. I feel like that shallow face helps you get a really good roll on the ball. It feels like the putter stays really close to the ground, which I'm also a massive fan of. So it comes back to my final question. Is this putter gonna go in my bag? Well, let me tell you something. I've not hold a bean using this putter. I've known this putting green a long time now, reviewing and testing this putter. There are not many clips of me holding a putt. In fact, this one particular clip got me so excited and I celebrated. So for me, the performance, for whatever reason, I couldn't hold a thing. I might try it again down the line, who knows? It's a good putter, I like it a lot. It's not going in the bag yet. We'll see what happens. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, lots more to come. So my review of the new Odyssey 10, two ball with a line. We'll see you next time.